Hi guys, I've been thinking a lot about what's going on in Indianapolis, and when you boil it all down, when you boil down the question marks about Peyton's neck and whether or not Andrew Luck will really be uh, the pro that everyone thinks he will, and what they should do in Jacksonville, whether or not they should tank the last game, boil it all down. This isn't about the Colts. This is about our culture. Let's start at the top. First of all, you have Peyton Manning, who is an all-time great, maybe the greatest all-time, but he did things that no other quarterback in the history of the league has ever done before. So expecting a successor, or anyone really, to achieve that same level of consistency is not only illogical, but simply unfounded. Number two, we're talking about a situation that's only happened twice in NFL history, where an all-time great a real record setter has been replaced by the backup quarterback. You can point to Joe Montana being replaced by Steve Young and then Aaron Rodgers successfully replacing Brett Favre after he sent his career into a swan dive. But let's not forget, Steve Young sat on the bench for five years before he was able to make Joe Montana expendable. Aaron Rodgers sat on the bench for three years before Brett Favre decided to do what he did to his career. So it isn't as though these guys were number one overall draft picks, just coming in with a lot of fanfare and a lot of pressure. Nothing like that. They had to work their way up. So why is this conversation perpetuating itself? This notion of a first round draft pick, Andrew Luck, just being able to take over for Peyton Manning and be the singular solution for the franchise? It's because of our culture. Because we're convinced that bigger, better, faster, we're convinced that the now is sufficient. But let's not forget, guys, it takes time to build success, to lay a foundation, and then to grow from there. And the Colts, <laughs> they won more games between 2000 and 2009 than any other team in NFL history did in any other decade. So they might know a little something about sustainable success. And that takes more than one player, whether or not he's an all-time great or all-time great potential. So glad you could watch. I'm Julie Beeler. This is my day off.